What's up, Raiders? Welcome to Geek Chess. My name's Steve. Yeah, my name's Arnaz. And today, we're going to have a collectible wars, because somebody was like, we need to get to view Steve, so let's do more 2019. Alright, I'm going to hit him behind the camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, we're going to do collectible wars. Uh, which one is better? The poster Godzilla versus the fire burning Godzilla. Even though I'm pretty sure we said in the video which one, one we kind of prefer. Right, Steve, you don't well, I be, guess. You don't have to be so violent about <laughs> it. I'm only doing this because I got two of these now. <laughs> but anyways. Oh, sweet. Which one am I taking home then? No, I need them. I got one for the box and one to sit in front of the box. It's perfect. I'm going to kick you. <laughs> but anyways, uh, on a serious note, we're going to do a collectible wars. Figure out which one, if you could only buy one. Should you be buying? And we're actually going to fully critique these things in terms of pretty much just bang for your buck, I guess. So I guess first and foremost, I was going to bring up the packaging, but it's literally the exact same packaging. It's just one is orange and one is blue. Here, <laughs> so Example, put this one in the background. An example, like here's this one. See Godzilla's orange and then the other that one, one it, blue. it's literally just blue. Um, Unlike some other packages came out from NECA, NECA recently, which are amazing. I don't know, those ones are still nice. Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah, I not guess nice. it's just like the metal thing I don't really care about, because it kind of makes it... I don't know, it's just like the jacks and stuff, so it's almost like it yeah. makes it feel cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> in a way, so it's just weird. Um, but, uh, so the package, you can't really distinguish it. Also, it's like articulation, sculpt... There isn't, it's the same figure. Yeah. So you can't really base it off that either. Now, starting Difference. first and foremost, accessories. Which one of these came with accessories, Arnez? I'll give you a hint. It's the on burning. the table. <laughs> the burning came with accessories. <sighs> can't count the tail. Yeah, you can. Plus, you can count the translucent plastic that's on him. That's an accessory. Unlike that, that's some a people. sculpt. Well, okay, I guess like sculpt wise, like yes, he has translucent plastic, which is cool. like that would have been cool if that would have been translucent. Oh, but it's God. like I want this translucent yeah, though. The top like, one. And I still you don't get that with here. So it's like it's cool that's translucent, but I think in terms of um for this discussion, it's still irrelevant. Yeah, like where they put Like the that's a that's a paint job. I feel like a paint job discussion. Uh, but yes, the, this one came with accessories. For the same price. <laughs> so if you bought your uh, poster Godzilla, you get a beam effect and a bloom effect. So in terms of accessories, this one's already clearly winning. Uh, next, what else do we got? Um, articulations? <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's the same, man. You don't know. It's the same, man. You're like, we need to do this video, and you didn't prep work for it. <laughs> I did prep work, man. <laughs> All right, so next we will go over paint job, which one we think. Because I feel like this one is probably the most debatable, and it's most personal preference. But the thing is, like, all three of them look exactly the same, so there's nothing you can do about that. All three of them. And that's a sculpt, mainly. Yeah. Paint job-wise, you get a vastly different scheme with each of these figures, which just kind of gives you merit for buying all three, because you get... Clearly different kaijus for each one. Normal Godzilla is more of like a brown green color palette with some grays. This one's like blues on pavement. And then this one is literally like it's on fire. <laughs> so, uh, it's burning Godzilla. Let's trigger some people here, Steve. God. Trigger both. Call it for a ferning. It's ferning Godzilla. It's a furnace Godzilla. <laughs> but a lot of the paint job... There is a decent amount of similarities. Because you can see the way the spines are set up for each of the kaijus. The color palette is mostly the same. You even get, like, the fire veins, I guess is what you call them, on both of them. Because this one you get, like, the radiation leaks on the side. But the way the overspray is on this definitely gives you a lot more blue, more so than what you got with this. Which I... It's just the word of problem hits. Like, which one do you prefer more now because of that? It's kind of like, I think this one has too much bloomage on it, or, like, the blue leakage, because it yeah. makes, it's it kind of excessive on this well, one. Well, even, bit. like, down towards the bottom of the tail, where you connect it, like... Oh, it's just, like, blue all the time. Yeah. And I kind of wish, like, this had maybe a little bit of that, 
It's like 50-50 on both of them. Yeah, it's like if it could have, this one could have maybe a little bit more while this one could have had a little bit less. I think it would have been a nice middle ground. Take a little bit away from this one, add it to this one. Yeah, or even like if the spines had that translucent plastic effect going on with it, I think it would have helped it a little bit more, especially with the consistency of the figure. While this one, we don't have that translucent plastic to deal with, so for the most part, them doing this was fine. Then it also has the... Um, it's almost like a satin color I for the spine. So you get like that little like nice like metallic shine to it that it this one nice, but doesn't quite much. get. It is much. And that's kind of where it lies. But I do like, I granted, like I like the Burning Godzilla's face a lot, but I do really enjoy the way the blue kind of shows off of this too. This is inside of his mouth blue? Yes, it is. Well, because you'd have the beam effect, and yeah. then you'd have the, the light illuminating from the beam, which would be hitting the highlights on the kaiju, which you get that on here. Like, for the most part, like, it makes sense the where it is. It's just, again, the blue's excessive. But I th to me, I thought that was what was kind of cool about this. Well, this one, it doesn't have that, like, I can't popping. Yeah, it doesn't out. have, like, that exploding look. Like, it just... It looks good. <laughs> but what they did good is put translastic, translastic. Ah, I can't even talk today, Steve. So it's stretchy and translucent. That would be the greatest thing <laughs> ever. Just stretch Godzilla. You remember those old like stretch wrestling toys, Steve? Or even Stretch Armstrong, for that matter. That'd be dope. Um, the thing about this one is, and it's you would think it like this would have more of that problem because a lot of the excess paint. But on this one, you get like globs. Like, look at that tail right there. Oh. Of paint in certain section. Well, this guy, like... It's not as bad. It's still there, but not as bad. Yeah, you don't really get it. It's mainly, like, where you wouldn't see it, mainly, is where that one has problem. Well, this one's, like, the tail had some issues. <laughs> I don't know if it was just ours that was that bad or if it, every one of them was like that. Stevie did the other figure. Yeah, but I still like how they have the black on here. It kind of gives it that, like, nice, like charcoal kind of look to it like almost like lava yeah looks over like top of it and to me like this looks more like what i would expect it to see from the movie well this one i think isn't quite movie accurate but i almost feel like it's more eye-catching yeah so it's like what do you prefer movie accuracy or eye-catching so which one do you like so i feel like i have to give it to the bernie just because it's movie accurate it's more movie accurate than the poster. And that's what you prefer. Like, that's what your taste is. You want movie accuracy. Well, I feel like that's what everybody... Like, uh, not everybody, but I think as a majority, you're buying this figure because you want that movie look on your shelf. Eh, I kind of get that. Like, like, the poster's for the Marmot people. <laughs> 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 that they want, they want Godzilla, <laughs> but they want something different about that's it. That's wrong. <laughs> so i i would give it to the burning not by much but the burning for the paint job wise yeah definitely for me it's the burning the translucent plastic is what got my eye on him and then like the how they added like the charcoal color to it on the perfect spots on his body made him look like he's actually burning godzilla yeah so so far it's one to one and now, there's only really one other thing that we can really discuss. It's not the that's price. That's different. It, 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 well, it's sort of the price because for the third one, this one you could find pretty much everywhere. If yeah. they sold Godzilla toys, well, the NECA Godzilla toys, you'll be able to get a poster Godzilla. He, on the other hand, is only available at Target and as of this recording is not available on the website. So you have to find this thing in stores to get one. And that's where it hurts. And that, yeah, it's like here, when I bought mine originally, there was only one. No, there's like, like, I guess going back, they put out some more. There was four of them. I grabbed one, so they left three. But in terms of quantity, there just isn't as many of these as there are of the poster. Which means it's harder to find, which also means it's going to be more expensive to get a hold of. So, if you if you're going outside of Target to get this, so if you can go to your Target and find one, I would say burning. But since it's hard to find, it's definitely the spit. <sighs> yeah, I'd have to lean towards the poster just because it's easier to get a hold of. Yeah, and that's what it breaks down to. It's 
easier to get hold of, man. You don't want to pay $80 that people are trying to get for that guy on freaking eBay. Yeah, I guess uh, let's look it up on eBay real quick, and we'll figure out how much people are trying to scalp this thing for. Which, sadly, is a thing, especially when you start talking about exclusive figures. All right, eBay, you're looking 60 bucks on average. So if you're not getting this at Target, you're paying close to triple for it. The price. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I should have put all mine on there for 50 bucks, sold them like a <laughs> Right? Oh, we should have been the monsters. Um, and at 60 bucks, I you just get the monster arts. Yeah. Seriously. Like the monster arts is extra 20 bucks. Just buy the monster arts at that point. Oh, so yeah, uh, this category, I'd have to pick Spitfire or the poster Godzilla. And that's that's it. Yeah, that's all we got. So this thing beats in accessories and accessibility. Which and is kind of sad because the other Godzilla has the other side of it. God, are we really going to be recommending the poster Godzilla over the burning? That's if you what had the makes this one? video great, Steve. But no, that <laughs> that's is, a one more movie. That's why I don't want to do better. this video to begin with because it does. It like logically, it's it like the no one's sense. better, but it it loses. No. Which makes this video great, man? Like this is what sucks. It's like the other one is just. Way better, but go for the poster version because it's got accessories, which is what a lot of people want, and it's easy to get a hold of. You know what? Let us know in the comments section below which one you guys think, and then I guess we could do this like a traditional versus just whoever gets the most votes will bring it up in a video. Yeah, oh, um, tell us if we're wrong. Yeah. I was going to say, if, uh, maybe if we get enough votes for the poster Godzilla, maybe I'll try to find a Monster Arts. Yeah. And then we could compare the Monster Arts to it. Because um, currently, I, I, I didn't pre-order it because I wasn't buying the movie. so And it just seemed expensive. But if we had enough support for it, I'd be inclined to pick it up to do a versus. And especially if he clearly wins this by a landslide. I mean a landslide. I'd be inclined to get that figure. Um, but again, let us know in the comment section below and help us defeat those cages by hitting that like button, subscribe to Ranger Day. We also have Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. I'd like to keep up the date with channel and donate. We'd greatly appreciate it. Appreciate it? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.